This is the Leonardo AW-169, the next-generation helicopter in the light-intermediate category that combines best-in-class performances with superior range and safety. Born out of the necessity to fill a gap in the market for intermediate twin-engine helicopters, the AW-169 was conceived by Leonardo's helicopter division, formerly known as Augusta Westland, in the late 2000s, with the aim of creating a helicopter that would be larger than light twin-engine models, but smaller than medium-sized helicopters. The intention was to design an aircraft that had both the agility and low operating costs of smaller models with the power and capabilities of larger helicopters. The design was finalized after several iterations and prototypes, and one of the key goals was to achieve excellent performance while adhering to stringent environmental standards. The use of composite materials, aerodynamic optimization, and state-of-the-art engines played an integral role in meeting these objectives. After years of development and testing, the AW169 received its ESA certification in July 2015, and the FAA certification for the United States followed soon after, opening up the aircraft to one of the world's largest helicopter markets. But does it really live up to the hype? Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Leonardo AW169. Stepping inside, the cabin presents a union of spaciousness and technological sophistication, making it one of the most compelling interiors in its class. Once inside, you'll find a flat floor which not only contributes to the overall sense of spaciousness, but also enhances the cabin's versatility. One of the defining features that sets it apart is its sheer volume, boasting an interior of 222 cubic feet, or 6.3 cubic meters. This generous space allows for diverse configurations that can comfortably accommodate 8 to 10 people in utility configuration, 8 in an executive design, and 6 to 7 in an extremely plush VIP layout. A standard 8-seat arrangement comes with forward or rear-facing options. There's also a high-density 10-seat layout available for more passengers. The high ceiling adds to the sense of spaciousness, and there's even an option to add a partition between the cockpit and the cabin for added privacy or noise insulation. For a helicopter of this size, the expansive nature of the interior is quite noteworthy. Moving beyond size and configuration, the material quality is not to be overlooked. The cabin is constructed of a careful blend of composite materials and metals that are both lightweight and durable. Furthermore, the meticulous engineering extends to soundproofing materials and seals around the doors and windows, delivering a quiet, serene in-flight experience by effectively attenuating external noise and vibrations. When it comes accessibility and safety, the cabin excels in these domains as well. The sliding doors are notably wide, measuring 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters in width. This design ensures straightforward ingress and egress, making it accessible even in more challenging circumstances. The cabin is designed with impact-resistant structures and comes fitted with energy-absorbing seats. Fire-retardant materials have been used throughout the cabin to improve safety standards. The addition of well-placed handrails and grip handles ensures that both safety and comfort are well accounted for. For those concerned about comfort, the AW169 doesn't disappoint. The seats themselves are plush, with ergonomically designed cushions that remain comfortable even over extended periods. High-quality materials are the norm here, enhancing the tactile experience. Overhead compartments and optional amenities such as adjustable lighting and air conditioning further contribute to the overall appeal. Depending on the configuration, additional amenities such as cup holders, storage spaces, and advanced climate control systems can be installed. An array of lighting options, including LED, can be adjusted to suit different moods or requirements. For those concerned with acoustics, the AW169 has employed technology to minimize noise, offering a quieter cabin experience that is especially appreciated in VIP or corporate configurations. Stepping inside the cockpit, the seats are crafted for ergonomic suitability, a critical factor for pilots who might find themselves in the air for extended periods. The avionics suite is a Honeywell Primus Epic 2.0 system that features three of the latest 10 by 8 inch Rockwell Collins displays mated to touchscreen controls with all the newest capabilities, including night vision goggle compatibility, a four axis digital automatic flight control system and a dual flight management system. 
digital maps, weather radar, SATCOM, traffic and terrain avoidance, dual radar altimeters, ADS-B aircraft tracking technology, enhanced vision, and a health and usage monitoring system. The model also features IFR LPV capability and a terrain awareness warning system for operations in the most challenging weather. An optional full icing protection system, which has been popular on the AW139, should provide additional safety during inclement weather. An additional fourth screen is generally dedicated to the four-axis digital automatic flight control system. The AFCS does more than just reduce pilot workload. It is fine-tuned to offer stability across different operational profiles, be it hover hold or navigation through complicated terrains. The level of automation is intricately balanced to ensure pilots are assisted but not overwhelmed, effectively making man and machine co-pilots rather than competitors. The traffic collision avoidance system is meticulously designed to operate in tandem with the radar and the FMS, offering a multi-layered safety net for pilots. The synthetic vision system is a groundbreaking feature that offers a three-dimensional depiction of the terrain, indispensable for operations in challenging landscapes like mountains or urban settings with tall structures. Communication is another area where the AW169 excels. Dual VHF radios combined with satellite communication modules guarantee continuous contact with ground control and other aircraft. What sets this arrangement apart is its accessibility from both the cockpit and the cabin. This integration adds an additional layer of safety and situational awareness, a feature likely to be appreciated by both the pilots and the passengers. The AW169 is subject to continual updates to its avionics and systems. Advances in automation, enhanced safety features, and increased customization options have made it an attractive option in a highly competitive market. The aircraft's design philosophy is centered on adaptability and future-proofing, ensuring that it remains relevant as technological advancements continue to redefine the aviation industry. And finally, APU mode is a unique feature. APU mode allows stopped rotors while cabin power remains on, enhancing climate control, safety, and comfort while loading and unloading passengers and equipment. Now, let's talk about the engine performance specifications, and how it flies. The AW169 is powered by two Pratt and Whitney Canada PW210A turboshaft engines with FATIC, with a TBO of 3,500 hours, each producing 1,000 pounds of thrust. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,000 feet or 600 meters, and a maximum cruising altitude of 15,000 feet or 4,570 meters. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 165 knots, a maximum cruise speed of 145 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 550 pounds or 250 kilograms. The helicopter has a maximum range of 440 nautical miles, which is 500 miles or 815 kilometers, with a maximum net payload of 4,500 pounds or 2,040 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 3,200 pounds or 1,450 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Leonardo AW169 is $10 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $4,000 to $6,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $400,000 to $600,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $2,000 to $3,000. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.